Hey guys how are you i hope you are doing well in your life myself vikrant and i welcome you back to dev town so in this video we are going to see what is css grid area and trust me guys this is the most beautiful thing uh, in css so let's get started so first of all uh, before getting started let me show you what we are going to do with this css grid area first of all okay so for that i have opened my whiteboard over here and i will show you first of all by drawing it out by like how we are going to what we are going to make today so let's say if i want something like this so let's say this is my navbar okay so my navbar will cover my entire width okay so 100% width will be covered by my navbar okay and below navbar what i want on the left side i want something let's say we are making a hero section here let's say banner type something so let's say we are giving it a name of banner on right side i want something that we called as sidebar or like that something so today we are just going to make the outer the card the area okay and below this banner what i want is our footer so footer will again cover my entire area like this okay so today in this video we are just going to do and implement this thing okay we want navbar we want banner and we want sidebar as well as footer so let us see how to achieve this with the help of our grid template area grid template area okay so let us go on to our vs code and let's code it out so for that first thing what i want is let's say i am just first of all we will import our html template and in title section i am going to title it out as grid template area okay so the first thing that i will do here is i will implement one div and inside the div i want another div okay so for the first div i will just name it as container okay and the inner div i will name it as box class okay so first of all we will also style it out with the help of our internal style sheets so for container what i am using i am using a display of grid of course that's the most basic thing display of grid along with that i want okay so we want grid template area but we will apply that thing later on first of all let me just do one thing i just want a grid gap grid gap of one rem let's say okay and for my box actually i want uh, more boxes here now so let's say i am copy down this and i am writing item inside this okay so i want more of the divs inside this container so 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay i am just saving it and how we can style it in box i want i want it to have a padding of let's say 2 pixel and along with that a background color of somehow this bisk color bisk and a border of 1 pixel solid red instead of red let's say we use black color i'm saving it okay so if we are going back to index.html page yeah it is looking like something like this so what is this id container Okay, 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 okay. So I haven't removed this thing, so that's why. Right now it will look perfect. Okay, so it is looking perfect. Okay, so we are getting all items. So right now what we want is to implement the grid template area. Okay, and also I have shown you the uh, design which we we were building today. Okay, so for that the first thing that we need to do is, let's say instead of box. okay instead of box i want some another divs so let's say for this div we will give it a id of navbar and apart from this navbar 
we want it to have a hero section let's say so i am just giving it a id of hero section and i will write something inside this that is navbar uh apart from navbar in hero section i want let's say banner i will just name it out and after that we want it to have a id of sidebar and the last but not the least is our footer okay so i am just giving it a a uh, id of footer first of all okay and i will mention inside that that this is footer okay but inside navbar i want to have some links so let's say home uh, about about us and product let's say i am just normally saving it and now if i showed you see this is looking like this like a normal very normal thing but right now if i wanted to have something like grid area inst instead of that then in that case what we need to do is we need to have this thing see first of all what is there there is one id so hashtag navbar and inside this grid template grid area we need to pass on my navbar okay so we need to do this same for our remaining things so second is our hero for hero we again want it to have a grid area of hero the third thing is uh third thing is sidebar okay sorry for the spelling mistakes so for sidebar also i want it to have a grid area of sidebar and how how i am going to use this i will show you that just wait for a second so for footer again i want it to have a grid area of footer okay so i guess that that's fine for for now okay so while styling this thing i will do i will do one thing i uh, i just want it to have a background color various background color so for navbar i will give it a background color of let's say antique white okay so that we are able to identify the different areas for this i will give it a color of yellow so don't think about color combination i don't know how it will look like i'm just giving it a random color for footer we will have a background color of violet let's say okay i'm just saving it out so now what i want it to have a grid area okay so for grid template row what i want see grid template area okay so for grid template areas what i can pass on is okay i don't want it to be none i want it to have a uh, something like let's say navbar is the first thing i want okay so in each uh, row we have two columns so i i need to write down this two times so navbar we have in first two line okay so i guess i guess i guess i need to pass on this like this okay so later on we have what we have the second thing that is hero section and with space separated sidebar we have and below that we have footer so first of all let's see how it is looking like on our this thing okay so right now i guess it is looking fine because see on the top side on the top side i am getting my navbar below that i am getting banner on my left side and sidebar on the right side but uh, we also need to uh, let's say if i am removing this grid gap then see let's see how how it will look like okay so it is looking like this but still it is it is looking perfectly fine if if we are giving height and width to these boxes then i, I think that will uh, definitely solve the problem so let's say i am giving it a height uh, height of 200 pixel let's say so as of now i am giving it a lesser height for this thing also i am giving it a okay so right now you are able to see that how this is looking nice
okay so in this particular way also we can style out our pages so this is a very simple layout so this is a very old old type fashion layout but you can build many or many other things with this grid template areas property so i hope you guys have got the, gotten the idea and if you haven't check out what this grid is css grid property is then do let then do watch and was our previous videos and go to our web development playlist and in that you will find the videos related to html as well as css also and if you are new to the channel then do subscribe it and don't forget to share this content with your needy friends i will see you in next video until then goodbye guys